Hello and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Hardcore. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death Run with our Frost Mage who is now ready to go into the raiding content. As such, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. It is going to illustrate how to prepare for a raid because um, like the great Sun Tzu once said, if you don't raid your enemy, you've already lost the battle. So what we are going to do I'm in this video is essentially uh, going through various so-called uh, world I'm buffs, me. as all of these okay. buffs can be stacked, and with the buffs, uh, my 2700 self-buffed uh, hit points are all of a sudden becoming around 5,500 hit points. And if I flask up, that would even be 6,700 hit points. And on good days, maybe a little bit more. So, uh, what is, should we know about world buffs? World buffs uh, generally stack, but they also expire. So most of them are between an hour and two hours, uh, which means the uh, trick so to speak from a rating perspective is to have the world buffs uh, hit in just at the same time without uh, them losing much of their value or their uh, time and we're going to see all of uh, the world buffs that i prepare in this uh, video we're going to start with the first which is, uh, in my perspective an under uh, rated uh, world buff but one that uh, is time, uh, timely independent because you are farming a consumable that you can drink that is unique so you can't have more than one and you're basically farming a consumable that you can use whenever um, it uh, is adequate. In our case we're farming a consumable that is called the Spirit of the Boar and for that we are finding ourselves uh, in the Blasted Lens right down here under the Swamp of Sorrows. The uh, Blasted Lens do have one threatening enemy called Terribus the Devourer. So on Hardcore, we have to be careful uh, that this massive drake who's patrolling the entire uh, region isn't catching up to you. So all we need to do in order to get uh, that infamous Spirit of the Boar buff is we got to uh, bring two scorpion pincers, which we already have, a basilisk brain and a couple of boar lungs uh, to the quest giver. And said quest giver will give us uh, the uh, flask that we can drink whenever we feel it is needed. It will give us 25 stamina, which equates to 250 hit points. So let me farm everything and then we'll trade it in. All right, just wanted to showcase there we have him in all of his glory, Herbus the Devourer, super tough uh, enemy, do not attempt to fight him, uh, he eventually, even uh, though I'm level 60, he would out of very range. likely 2 or 3 hit me, so yeah, we're not going to take any chances here. Anyways, farming on. Alright, so, once we trade it in, until next we meet. We get a juicy cocktail, that one we will just save for the next time. And we're off and away from the Blasted Lens. Uh, they were fun as long as we were there, but now it's time to go back. Next on our radar is Dire Mall, and more specific, Dire Mall Terrace, or Dire Mall Tribute uh, Run which is really Dire Mall North, with a couple of modifications. There are two hour buffs that we can get there, and those buffs are really good. All right, step two in our preparation <coughs> for the dungeon buffs is Dire Mall. Uh, Dire Mall Tribute uh, is going to be another source of buffs, and how it generally works is what I'm going to explain. So in order to do <coughs> Diamol Tribute, basically what a group needs to do is uh, the northern part of Diamol, uh, so known as Diamol North, and do it without killing any of the bosses. Now that um, part is sometimes uh, not as easy because you need to uh, evade 
uh, the bosses and you also need to make sure that one of them in particular One of them in particular isn't um, isn't going to attack you. You need to um, bind them in a trap, uh, and then you need to clear most of uh, this uh, section here. Typically, the guild that I'm in clears the right hand side. You can see that there are still plenty of enemies left over, and these are, make no mistake, level <coughs> 59. Uh, to uh, 60 elites. So once once you're done with that, uh, the instance, uh, or once you're done with evading all of uh, these uh, enemies, you can kill the last boss. Uh, as the last boss dies, uh, you are being crowned the king uh, by talking to his advisor and then you can buy a lot of stuff in Dire Mall North and get a lot of buffs. That's exactly what we're going to do. We haven't done uh, the instance, but uh, our guildmates have, and with their help we can just use the same instance. We're essentially walking through, making sure that we're not aggroing anything, and then we're going to go uh, through. This here is uh, one of uh, the guards, by the way, uh, as long as you use the trap in order to uh, keep him uh, keep him busy. Nothing is going to harm uh, you. These packs you can simply bypass. And although I know uh, the way, I am always extra cautious. Mana shield, ice barrier, everything, just in case something goes wrong. And we even got the speed pots ready in case something isn't working as intended. So there is another pack, which again, we would like to skip. And here is typically where the advisor is located um, and where the end fight is happening. You can see there are still many, many hostile ogres, but the moment that we are being crowned king, we're getting a debuff, so you can't even remove it. And with that debuff, everybody else is perceiving you as uh, their boss. Quite convenient, eh? Our friend here has already gotten the debuff, it's called King of uh, the Gordog, and uh, with it we can uh, now get all of the buffs uh, that we want. You can see everybody is uh, no longer hostile. So we want three buffs and a little bit of consumables, that's uh, the idea. These guys are not giving us any of the buffs that we need, but uh, the bosses that you have not killed, they are essentially the ones that are giving you the, bo uh, the buffs. We can see that uh, many guildmates now are coming uh, in as well. Basically, everybody in a raid preparation is going to use the same instance to just make it easier. Good, we're almost at uh, the first boss that we're uh, using for this. Jump down. Don't die, of course. There we go, and we got the first two hours buff. Critical uh, spells increased by 3%, which is huge. Uh, that in itself is the equivalent of an item. But that's not all. There are a couple more buffs uh, that we could snatch. 
all in a preparation for the raid. There's the next one. Fingers. Gives us uh, attack power. Not necessarily what we need, but melees are loving it. And I think the third one is down there. Before we get the last buff, uh, there is a merchant which is only available once you do have uh, the king status. He's right over here. What that merchant sells is Grodon Green Grog and uh, the scout uh, part. So we're going to. Refresh our stocks, maybe another 10 of them, because these guys here are 10 stamina, and you can always, and I mean always, uh, require an additional 10 stamina. That's 100 hit points right there. Alright, last buff before we're uh, leaving Dar Mall is going to be from our good guard Moldar. And he gives us 15% increased stamina. So that already uh, gives us quite a bit uh, extra stamina. Now we're on the clock though. Uh, so we need to uh, get out of here. And make use of uh, the buffs. Luckily these are all two hour buffs. So Next up. We're going to go uh, to Thunder Bluff, which is the next stage for our buffing escapade. So, it is that time of the year where we do have the Dark Moon Fair. So we're going to Seishir and are going to take a reading. Uh, we're taking Confiscating the Corn and stitching out our friends, which gives us another increase of stamina of plus 10% which uh, then requires us uh, to teleport back to Agrima as uh, we need a couple more buffs actually so uh, we need to speed up a bit. Our next riding destination from here is Felwood. Um, you can also get a summon uh, there if you want to further optimize it but typically uh, the ride to Felwood takes like two, two and a half minutes, so that is still acceptable on two hour buffs. Uh, some people are uh, getting summons or use other means to conserve uh, buffs that are a bit more expensive, but uh, I think those two and a half minutes are still uh, palatable. So what are we going to do in Felwood? Felwood we're looking for corrupted sunflowers and corrupted sunflowers can be cleansed by using these scenarian plan salves which you can get by basically repeatable quests for instance killing full borgs and i killed uh, quite a few during my level escapade so we're now at uh, 32 of uh, these bad boys you need two in order to cleanse a plant and sometimes uh, they are already cleansed so then you can simply use uh, them uh, the sunflower plants are great because they are giving quite a bit of uh, of extra spell crit and together with the dire mall buff you're just upgrading your uh, spell crits even further so that's just a, um, a nice uh, all-around uh, buffing before we're coming to the grand finale but let's first of all get to the sunflowers Okay, here we go. So we found a sunflower, got that nice little timer add-on, which allows you to find the, the sunflowers. And now that we do have the sunflower buff, our next destination is going to be Booty Bay. I do have my hearthstone there, uh, and that is the start of the grand finale, which is going to happen soon. All right, now for the grand finale. 
that I promised, we're going to get the ZG buff, which is another two hour buff from the Xenolarian Enclave. If it is properly timed, like it is on hardcore servers, uh, you typically know exactly when it's going to go down. And uh, that uh, means you're not wasting a lot of time. If you want to optimize it, have a uh, have an add-on that tells you exactly the amount of seconds until someone is basically dropping it, but uh, that yeah, requires an extra add-on, which I do not have. Anyways, we're losing maybe tops 30, 60 seconds here uh, whilst the buff is dropping. The moment that the buff uh, drops, uh, we are going to go to Ogrimmar. Well, typically you need a portal for that, but since we're a mage, we can simply teleport ourselves. And uh, that uh, will then be the absolute grand grand finale there. Where we're getting the last buffs before we wrap up all of them nicely in our uh, time capsula, also known as the Chrono Boom Displacer. What the Chrono Boom Displacer does um, is it basically saves all of your global uh, buffs um, and uh, you can unboon it at any time uh, a little bit uh, later, um, at uh, which point you. Uh, will then have the full duration of the buffs typically inside of uh, the raiding instance so just set 50 seconds until the buff will drop and we're not the only ones uh, waiting the beautiful part on a hardcore server is everybody likes world buffs they are fun they are great they make life a little bit easier And we're porting back to Ogrimmar. Very good. So, now the grand grand finale in Ogrimmar. Depending on the day, a couple of buffs are being dropped. Uh, today is a special day because today is raid day uh, for the guild. And typically every uh, so often uh, Rand Blackhand's head is being dropped. So it's the boss of UBRS. Uh, which gives uh, the Blessing of the Warchief 300 hit points, mana regeneration, and a bit of attack power. But today it's a little bit more, so Onyxia's head is going to be dropped as well. Onyxia gives a nice little additional uh, buff on top of that. And since it is uh, that day uh, of the week, we're also going to see Nefarian's head drop which uh, gives yet another buff. So all of that combined will make you ultra, ultra uh, strong. We're already uh, nearing 3,500 uh, hit points and we haven't even used uh, the Blasted Lens uh, cocktail, which we're going to use when we're in the raid, which is another 250 hit points. So we're nearing the 4K mark and that is without rent and without uh, the uh, the other uh, buffs uh, that we could be getting. So, let's wait for the buffs. Good. It says Rent will drop in six seconds. There we go. Warchief's blessing on top of all of the other blessings. Now it's just a matter of getting Anixia and Nefarian on top of that. We're now at 4,700 hit points. There's the Relian cry of uh, the Dragon Slayer. And I think that is mutually exclusive from, uh, from Onyxia. So we're going to boon right here, which basically means that all of these buffs are now gone uh, for a moment. And we find ourselves, uh, instead of having 4,700 and nearly 5,000 uh, hit points, uh, with 
the uh, with uh, the uh, juju here, uh, the lung juice cocktail, we would be at five thousand one hundred hit points. Then regog for five thousand two hundred hit points. Stead food for five thousand three hundred hit points, um, and then potentially mark of the wild on top of it. So you get to five thousand five hundred uh, hit points, uh, which is good. Uh, my mage is ready for the next raid. Thanks a lot, and uh, let's uh, go into the actual raid. All right, so we are uh, using, not using our buffs to go for a raid, but instead I do have something else for you, UBRS. Uh, we're starting kind of in the middle uh, more already, because prior to this there was only uh, trash stuff, UBRS is a 10-man instance, and is kind of the smallest raid, if you will. So the idea of it is to get people used to having more than one group and uh, it also serves in our case as preparation for the Anixia quest line, uh, the attunement quest line. So uh, we are fighting Rand Blackhand, uh, the boss of that place together with his dragon good um, who essentially uh, is working for a guy who calls himself Nefarian uh, later to be uh, discovered as to be the uh, infamous Nefarian as in the boss let's see uh, critical strike with uh, spells hmm not really needed dragon skin cowl frost resistance isn't bad that might be something that is indeed okay okay from uh, from this moment we need to take care of the pools and uh, we can't zug zug anymore like we did Exactly, and that's why I started uh, the run here. It's getting a little bit more dangerous from here on. So, we I'm are well just prepared. Just buffing myself quick. This gentleman here is running Eshkanti. Fantastic. So, now you can ship uh, Moon, and the uh, second you will be shipping the, the square, I guess, for now. All right, square it is. Nice. Um, okay, let's pull this. Focus assassin. You don't have to ship on this pack. the dragon next oh no wait perfect very good so we got a two-man group here and we're in the middle of it UBRS is that upper part of the BRS dungeon, uh, so LBRS, the smaller one, typically five mana, but you can also ten mana it if you uh, want to play it very, very safe. The upper part, however, is typically a uh, ten man uh, dungeon with good equipment. You could uh, even okay. You can stay in the stairs. I will pull back. You can even five mana it. Just don't want to shit the pool here. So the reason why the second part is a little bit tougher is... Pull then the left pack, we will be focusing the, the assassin. 
is because all of a sudden uh, the pack sizes increase quite a bit and the damage uh, that uh, the enemies are dealing increases also quite drastically. I'm gonna try to get the patch roll right now. Like Rock Spire. Head of Ren Blyken. That's the guy that we need to take in the Dark Storm Tablet. Focus the the skull and kick when you when we need to. doing reasonably well these guys are yeah. geared i'm not necessarily that geared so are we good on <coughs> no i'm gonna wait for gok Tok to drink a bit and perona as well okay i'm pulling Gotta be careful with these uh, rage dragons. They have a nasty fire ability. Then we can go in. We will take the left pack first. I'm pulling back. Up. We will take double chip and we will focus this one, then this one, and me. I will be taking the skull and uh, um, and let's say uh, the green one. Uh, I will be taking on the left the skull and green. Uh, Stalwar, you can stand uh, yeah, like here and take the, the cross, and then the two other will be shipped and uh, kill the last. All right? Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going in three, two, one, ship. For the X target now, DPS. Yeah. And then we are going for the skull. Or we can cleave both actually. Was a good and we can do those one as well before. The larger pulls are typically the ones. Uh, we pull the next one. I'm gonna target the meat. I'll saw them. So if you need to kite, feel free to do that. All right. Can the assassin be in that corridor already, or it's only after we kill the the, the boss? Only after the like during the boss. It spawns during the when you aggro the boss. All right, all right.
Yes, okay. Yeah, the totems. We will have to restomp the totems. Uh, I don't remember if there are any strategy on this boss. No, he fears, so tremor totems and we're gonna jump all over the place. Let's try to tank him on the right side. Basically. Right side? Yeah, back to the wall, because he's gonna do pushback. I tried on the left side and we were jumping all over the place. Alright, so like... Okay. Uh, like yeah, this position? Like, like this. Okay. Just like that. Like that. Okay, sure. Okay. You can evade the field if you uh, DPS at max range. Okay. Max, max melee range. Okay, good to know. Okay, I'm gonna pull. Maybe I can death wish at start, so I won't get fear. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. All right, everybody. Sorry to bounce. We're late to the party. Might be an assassin coming. Now we can get the rug, right? The assassin. Frostweaver cape. Find him. Frost resistance. Good shit. I like it. Uh, Sets aren't oh, that get, good though. I got one at least. There's only one. Ah yeah, okay. I guess there's another, uh, another one can uh, spawn on the bridge. Like uh, often we, we find one when we are going to the next pack. But maybe not. Maybe not. No. Okay. Uh, should we control something? Yeah, maybe. Just the ship when you will be close to us. I'm pulling back in the previous uh, room. So far that works out well. I can't remember for the love of my life where that tablet is. It has been more than a decade, but I think it is in the final room. I will thank uh, Skull and uh, Green again. Okay, I'll take you X. Yeah, you can take the big one. Put a shield maybe if too much, dam if too much damage. Okay. Yeah, there's the patrol working here. Yeah. Take, should have focused on the skull. And down there you can see this is LBRS essentially. Okay, the next pack uh, in the next pack as well we will do it in the in the room uh, before the bridge. Okay, I'm pulling. Okay, uh, go back, everyone. Yeah, yeah, we are coming back. We are coming back, guys. Stay, stay back, stay back. Pull totems also. You will have to. Yeah, you will have to waste on your totems.
All right, need to regain quite a bit of mana and also gain my frost armor. I back. guess we can uh, we can uh, go in uh, right now, Perona. There's only the patrol remaining. Yeah, there's the patrol. Yeah. Oh yeah, you want me to pull it back uh, to the next room? Uh, we could, yeah, we could. But we could, yeah, no, no. You you can all come here. We will play it here. It's fine. So this, oh yeah, this shit. I will kill it right now. Okay. <laughs> and you can shoot this one, this one, and I will take green skull. And that's it. Okay, they're ready to ship. Let's get the tail and captain down. Very good. Black hand elite is down. Verona, will you be kiting the bus? Alright. Then you can uh, maybe stack rage. Stalwar. Yeah. And Scarpok yeah. as well. Everyone. GFPP. You have uh, you have some stolwa? Yeah, yes, it. Got my fire right. protection running, so we're good. Okay, so um, you want to tank it like uh, over here, one over here, the other. You want you to grab the... boss, or do you want me to grab the boss? Mm, no, the, the boss he will be tanked by uh, Perona at the beginning. I mean, not tanked, but uh, kite, kite away. Yeah, to yeah. The... Um, I'm just asking uh, when he comes back. Do you want me to grab him, or do you want to grab him? I will grab first, and then you you will build your threat uh, as a second one. And when I take the conflag, you will uh, tank it, tank oh. him, and just move it away from the AOE fire. He will put on the ground, and uh, we should be fine. Make sure, make sure no healer is second on threat. You know. Yeah. All right. So I guess uh, yeah, we could pull Perona. Just uh, okay. You're going. Good old good okay, you can go right now. The real threat of this dungeon. Okay, I'll grab uh, next. Yeah. Okay, you can drop Perona. Okay, boss is coming back. Careful with the conflict rate, uh, that one is nasty. Tank has it now. And you can see it's just running around, essentially needing to be healed. Nice. Good job, guys. Not the best loot, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should get loot. Yeah. Uh, is this cloak previous for anyone? Because for DPS it's not, but it's better than mine. 
Yeah, you can go for it, and there's no HR or anything <laughs> if you want to, the item, just roll it. No, but like, if, if it's a previous for someone, or then he can get it. To be honest, I don't know. I didn't even look at the what is it, the clock. Yeah, it's, it could be good for a hunter, a rug, I guess, or tanking warrior for the stamina and the agility. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Who needs attunement over here? Uh, I needed the attunement, but the one for yeah. Onyxia, not the BWL. Yeah, I'll um, I'll um, set up an Onyxia attunement on uh, Thursday. I'm gonna uh, put it up on the signups also. All right. Sure. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for the run. Me, I guess I will stop here, Fiona. Alright, so after things are said and done, I got uh, the head of Ren Blackhand and uh, the Darkstone tablet. Oh, uh, oh. Both of uh, which are great. I cannot, as part of our quote unquote guild requirements here, uh, drop the hand of uh, Ren Blackhand. Although it would give me a nice little trinket because everybody wants the rent buff and we have a pretty strict buff that. queue, so can't just uh, drop it. Uh, which means that stinky little hat will stay there. And uh, we, I think, got one upgrade, which is a head uh, that adds 18 spell power. Uh, that is not too bad. I'm going to lose some armor with it. For the horde. What are you looking for? And we're looking a little bit like a redhead. Good. Um, some more things before we end the episode. We are ending today's episode with the trade in of the Darkstone tablet. I can trade that in if I want. And of course, there's a follow up quest. There's always a follow up quest. Uh, BRS has just so many quests, it's unbelievable. Yeah, we're going to take a look at that in due time. In the meantime, we got a good uh, amount of money. Plus we got Ren's head, which at some point I can trade in and then I can progress the Anexia attunement. And under that, we are going to go Zul group raiding as well as Molten Core. So join me the next time when I'm continuing the hardcore journey with our Frost Mage. Take care, have a good one, and see you soon. Bye-bye.